Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to, let's get this focused. <laughs> I want the camera to focus. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna show you guys um, how to merge images together using your Cricut. I've had a couple of requests. If you guys already know how to do it, feel free to move on to the next video. Uh, but for those of you who don't, um, I, and I, and I'm showing you from the app view. Um, I don't really use from online on my computer. Of course, a lot of people do it that way. I find it much easier to use my Cricut app instead, um, of using online. It's just faster and it's more convenient for me. Um, not so for everybody else. Now, definitely if you're getting into a lot of, you know, editing and you know, all of that, you may want to do it from your computer. But for me, I find that I can, uh, use it really well from just using the app. So what we're going to go ahead and do is again, I'm going to show you guys how to merge two separate images together. So I'm going to go to images. And if you saw my last video, you know, I'm all about the Hello Kitty <laughs> deal right now. Um, so I'm going to select this one. So if you see down here, it's insert, it's, it's queuing it up to be inserted onto the mat. You can select more than one in, image at a time. So I'm going to also select this one. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit insert. So now we see two images on the screen. We see the snow globe as well as the Hello Kitty. So the goal is to get this Hello Kitty inside of that snow globe. So now if you can see this, the snow globe is the one that's layered on top. So first we have to fix that. So we're gonna put our box over the Hello Kitty by just tapping on Hello Kitty. And then we're gonna come down here to where it says edit. So we're gonna push edit. And you see this right here that says arrange, we're gonna select that. And then we're gonna go ahead and select where it says move forward. So now once we remove that, now, Hello Kitty is the forward image. So that's how, so depending on what you want on the top or in the front or however you wanna arrange it, that's how you change the position of the, the things that you're adding on here. Now I can even add an additional, uh, I, I can put as many images and stack as many images on here as I want. Um, but for right now, just to kind of show you how to do this, um, I'm just going to use these two. So again, they are still two separate uh, images because if you click on either one, it gives you a separate box too. So you can still kind of manipulate it and get it how you want it to be. So just for the sake of the video, I'm going to be happy with how this is laid out. So now you want to click out of the boxes all together. And you don't want to just tap it like this to create a box. To group them together, you need to swipe outside of your images and drag it over both of the images. So the next thing that you're gonna go down here is you're gonna go down here to where it says actions, it's like a box inside of a box. And there's a button here that says group. So we're gonna go ahead and select group. So now when we take the box off, we should be able to move, they're now connected and now it's one image. So this is gonna be a print and cut. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to hit flatten. So you can kind of see, I think it changed a little bit. Not really. Sometimes you can see a change. It didn't really change too much for this one, but you do need to have it in a flattened state. And the last thing you want to do is adjust the size of your image, which you can adjust it with this little arrow here, or you can also go to edit and you can adjust the width or the height here. So I'm gonna go tap here. I'm gonna do three dot to make it three inches. Then I'm gonna go back to actions down here because I'm gonna duplicate it. So I like to, because I don't like to waste paper. So, and let me move the image down so you can see a little bit more. I like to duplicate and use a whole sheet of paper as opposed to using a piece of paper just to print one image. So um, you can go ahead and then duplicate it a couple times. So I'm gonna do it like four times. And then the next step is gonna hit, be make it down here, um, which is the little Cricut C. And then you can see how it's going to do a print and cut. So it has four images on here. Um, 
And so that's, how, you couldn't, I would, in order to get it to go down a little further, I would have to change the sizing of it. This box right here that's for print and cut, it never goes to the edge of the paper. It always kind of stops it right here. But I could add more if I made these smaller, but I'm gonna leave it at that. So then the next thing you would do is you would go through the process of printing it out. I'm not gonna print it, um, but that's what you would do next. You would print it, you would send it to your printer, you'd get it out of the printer, put it on your mat, and then you're just gonna go ahead and put it uh, through your Cricut. These boxes right here are your, um, is what, where, what's telling the Cricut where to cut out your images. So once you've printed it and you have this box around it, the Cricut's gonna do the rest for you. So that's how you do it. And um, you can always go back and edit it or ungroup them if you, you know, if you don't like how it turned out. Um, you can just go back to, um, I'm still in action so I can unflatten it. And then I can go back and I can hit where it says ungroup. And then I can, you know, separate them again. So now they're two separate images. So um, that's how you kind of play around with them. And like I said, I could add another image in here if I, if I wanted to. Um, you can stack as many on there as you want. Like if, let's see, let's, let's try one more. Let me see if I can find something else that could maybe fit in there too. That I've, well, I don't have to purchase it unless I'm going to go ahead and actually print it out. So let's see. Mm, let's find something cute. That was kind of Christmassy. So let's see. Let's find something else that looks Christmassy. I don't know. Okay, we'll do these trees. So let's say we want to, so now I'm, I'm going to insert that into, um, into here. So now I have the trees in here too, so I could size these down and add them kind of in the background. But now you see how the Hello Kitty is now in the background. So I would want to take the Hello Kitty, or I could take this. I'll take the trees and we're going to go to edit. And we're going to hit arrange and we're going to say move backwards. So now the Hello Kitty is forward and the snow globe and the trees are backward or in back of her. So that's how you would do that. And now you have the trees and you have the Hello Kitty in there. I'd make her a little bit bigger and make them a little bit smaller because <laughs> they're supposed to be, I guess, in the distance. Okay. Well, I'm trying to use my fingers gently. Okay, so because we want them like they're off in the distance, the little Christmas trees. There we go. There you go. And then you would do that same thing again. You want to swipe over the whole thing. Go back to actions. Hit group. And now you have one unit that moves around. And then you size it and then you can duplicate it like I showed you before. And then you can go ahead and hit make it and then it's gonna be ready. Oh, you know what? Hold on, I forgot to flatten. If you don't hit flatten and you don't have to, if you don't hit flatten, it's gonna have you do it like piece by piece. And there would be 15 mats to do those manually where you cut out each layer and, and paste them together. So I'm glad I did that. So you have to make sure that you hit flatten. So we're going to, I have to go back to the original one. I'm going to highlight it and then hit flatten. So you, before you duplicate anything, you want to make sure you hit group and then flatten, and then you can duplicate and they'll all be in a flattened state already. And then you can go ahead and print it out. I probably have these like way too big. So that's why they're not all showing. Here, let me size them. Make them smaller so that I could put multiples in a page. So at this size, I can do multiples. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit make it. Bada bing, bada boom, you have your four. You have your cute little Hello Kitty in the snow globe with the cute little Christmas trees in the back. And then you can do a print and cut. I'm not going to do this one because obviously I would have to pay for it because I, I haven't purchased, I think, those Christmas trees. So, but that's how you do it. And that's how you layer and stack images on top of each other. 
um, so that you can create a totally new image. It's pretty cool. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, if I forgot something, um, feel free to leave me a question in the comments. So I hope that was helpful. You guys have a really nice day and I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Bye.